Let us discuss an important result in straight line chapter. Ratio in which the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 divides the line joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by minus of a1x plus b1y plus c1 divided by a2x plus b2y plus c2 or minus l11 by l22. Now, let us write the geometrical figure. This is ax1, y1, bx2, y2. Now, this is the straight line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Assume that this point B, P, X, Y, which divides AB in the ratio M is to N. So, let us write M is to N. Now, steps are like this. Given points are AX1, Y1, BX2, Y2. Given line is AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0. Now, you call equation 1. 1 meets AB at PX, Y. Let PX, Y divides AB in M is to N ratio internally. Now, we can apply internal formula MX2 plus NX1 by M plus N, MY2 plus NY1 by M plus N. So, Therefore, P x comma y is equal to, see the formula, m x 2 plus n x 1 by m plus n comma m y 2 plus n y 1 by m plus n. Now, we observe very clearly, this point lies not only on the line joining a b, but also on the line a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. So, clearly, P x comma y lies on ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Now, in place of x comma y, let us substitute this point. Now, a into mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n plus b into my2 plus ny1 by m plus n plus c is equal to 0. Now, take LCM. This is A into MX2 plus NX1 plus B into MY2 plus NY1 plus C into M plus N is equal to 0. Now, there are terms which contain M and there are terms which contain N. Now, separate them. You can take point M here, M here, M here. So, I can write M into ax2 plus by2 plus c plus from these three terms take n common ax1 plus by1 plus c is equal to 0. Now we need to find out ratio. Now you can write m of ax2 plus by2 plus c is equal to minus of n into ax1 plus by1 plus c. Now, we require m by n. Actually, m by n is the ratio where p divides a b. Since p is a point on the line, you can say the line divides a b in m is to n ratio. It is minus of a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c by a x 2 plus b y 2 plus c. Now, you observe that if you denote this equation by L is equal to 0. If you substitute the point x1, y1, it is called L11. If you substitute the point x2, y2, it is L22. So, this is nothing but minus of numerator is obtained by substituting x1, y1 in the line 1 and denominator is obtained by substituting the point x2, y2 in the line 1. Now, here if m by n ratio is positive, now you observe one point, if the ratio is positive, then the line lies in between the two points. Repeat, when the ratio is positive, the line lies in between the two points. That means the points lie on 
opposite side of the straight line then the points a comma b lie on opposite side of opposite side of line 1 suppose if m by n ratio is negative that means the line lies outside then you can see that when the line lies somewhere here or with respect to this line both the points lie on the same side then the points a comma b lie on same side of line 1 so this is very 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 useful result particularly in finding out the ratio